Hayden in yet? No. I can't wait until he gets here. I'm really anxious to hear how it went last night. I tell you, he's not gonna go for this group stuff. Well, whether he likes it or not, I'm just pleased that after eight years, he's finally listened to something I said. <laughs> it shows he trusts me, that I have become, in his eyes, something of a peer. And that really makes me feel great. Hey, coach! Robert, you're fired. Huh? Well, I ought to fire you for sending me up there to that stupid group. That's the worst thing I've ever done. I don't want to run this in the ground. I just want to say I was so on last night and I feel great. <laughs> Maybe you didn't give the group a chance. Did, did you open up? Did you share? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sharing Christine. <laughs> what? Yeah, one of the guys in the group is dating her. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some open, sensitive guy known only as David. <laughs> Feeling a real personal sense of defeat about this. Gee, she's dating already. I mean, you've only been broken up for three weeks. Hey, just because she went out on one date doesn't mean it's anything serious. Well, I don't know about serious. I mean, what if she falls in love with the guy? She's not going to fall in love after one date. It took a long time for her and Coach to fall in love. I, up until then, it was just sexual. <laughs> she stinks a lot, Dub. I haven't even thought about that. I got to call her. What are you going to say? Well, I'm going to find out what the hell is going on. I want to know how somebody who can want to marry me three weeks ago can just forget about me like that. Hello? Yeah, Christine? Hayden? Oh, oh, hi, Hayden. Yeah, answer me one question. Three weeks ago when we broke up, if I'd been willing to get married, you'd have said yes, right? What's going on? Just to answer the question, Christine. Don't bark at me. What is your problem? Uh, I'll tell you what my problem is. I've been betrayed by the woman I loved. What are you talking about? Look, I spent the last three weeks ripping my guts out, trying to figure out a way to get us back together. And while I've been down here feeling bad and everything, you've been up there in Minneapolis just dating your little brains out. I am not dating my little brains out. I, I have a date. Not that it matters. How did you find out about that? Well, what do you mean, how did I find out about it? None of your business how I found out. Men know these things, Christine. <laughs> I can't believe you do this to me. Well, Hayden, what did you think I was going to do? Sit around forever and wait for you? No, not forever, but at least three weeks, Christine. Come on. Geez, the Department of Motor Vehicles gives you more time than that when your license expires. <laughs> Hayden, look. Somebody did ask me out, and I accepted. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I certainly don't think I have to explain that. So in other words, there's no need in me trying to change because basically I am out of the picture and you've moved on. Are you saying that you are trying to change? Well, gosh, Christine, who's had time? I'm still in shock. I'm not even sleeping in the middle of my bed yet. <laughs> Hayden, nobody is putting a gun to your head. The whole reason we broke up is because you said that you can't change, and I, I accept that. Just like you're going to have to accept that I am going on with my life. Well, I can't accept that. Well, you have to. You, what if you fall in love with this guy? Oh, Hayden, look, I, I, I can't keep having these conversations. I, I know where you stand, and you know where I stand. And every time we talk, we just keep ending up in the same place. I have to go. Wait, wait, wait. You want us to leave, Coach? <laughs> Why don't you offer to leave before the phone call? What'd she say? Well, basically, she said it's all over, Hayden. I'm gonna get my phone number and put it on the wall of every men's room in Minneapolis. That doesn't sound like Christine. I'm paraphrasing, Dauber. That was the gist of it. Jeez, I can't believe this. I mean, she's gonna go ahead and go out with this guy. There's nothing I can do. I mean, what if she falls in love with him? My life's gonna be over. Hey, maybe you ought to... Tell the guy in your group about you and Christine, and then you could talk him out of it. Because I don't even know the guy's name. I don't even know when I'll see him again. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's a stupid support group tomorrow night. <laughs>